Okay, I'm so lucky. Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Ark, where today we are going to be going and taming up a rock elemental. Now, I know last episode I said I was going to go tame up a Fasilosuchus. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't get any 150s to spawn. Um, especially ones with good stats. I think I only had like two of them spawn, and I flew around the desert for the longest time ever there on Thor. Just because I was trying to get him leveled up. And, like, there was like really just no good ones at all. And then on my way back, I just noticed that there was a 150 rock golem, and I decided, oh, may as well check it out. And, well, it had 37 in its melee. And, well, that's that's perfect, all right? Now, I already got everything I need here for a trap. I hope, I hope this trap works. It's a metal pillar trap, and then, of course, I got the metal foundations here for my... My cannons, and then I got me a backup cannon just in case something goes wrong with the the first cannon. You never know. Always bring up a backup cannon. But I'm going to be taking Azula here. Now, her weight is quite way down. Also, uh, I finally had to use the Oasisaur. I made a big oopsie the other day while I was breeding up my phoenixes. And, uh, well, I accidentally killed one of them. I killed one of the ones I needed. And all I've been doing to kill them is I've been taking my sword and chopping them. It does the damage it need for them. Now, also, I did think about taking the train to the rock golem today. But then I also thought of, do I want to repair the tracks when the rock golem breaks it? Also, another thing. You may notice that Azulu is crossing the map rather fast. She, as of right now, is the fastest flyer I have. Alright? She is legit. We are crossing the map within under under five minutes. I'm telling you that. That's just Scorched Earth. I know Scorched Earth is a little smaller than the island, but she crosses Scorched Earth in like almost three and a half minutes. Just about. Also, where's my tracks here? There they are. So, um, he should be one of these rocks here in the bottom of this canyon. I don't know if he's moved. I would really like to get him in a very... Hear me out on this. I feel like no, because I feel like if I try and lead him up here to the top there, that's just going to get me hurt. So, um, I need to find a relatively flat... I need to find him. Now, last time I checked, he was one of these rocks here. And I'm thinking he's this rock right there and directly in front of me, because it looks weird. I was correct. That is definitely him. So, boom, we'll track you that way as well. Got you marked. So, we got him marked. I don't know why I didn't just pull him up on Deer Dino Finder. That was an option, not gonna lie. Um, guess I just gotta figure out where I wanna do this. Might wanna start with clearing out Thorny Dragons. Okay, and start with Argentavis next. Uh, getting them a little crispy. Okay. Um, I think right here would be perfect. So, Azula, you stay right there for me. Now I need foundations and pillars. First, so five. I think. Boom, that's perfect also. I don't want to have to deal with any of these. There we go. Now. So for the trap, what we do is boom, boom. Come on. Boom. Boom. We skip that one. Boom. now as well also i'm pretty sure that's a sandstorm that we have coming if i remember the sounds correctly that one might be a sandstorm i gotta get the i gotta get these rocks cleaned up 
Okay, now I got my rocks cleaned up. I got all my pillars down. Now I gotta go back around and pick up the foundations. Now you may notice as well, some of the pillars are coming with it. It should just be the top ones, right? All the ones that I've placed on the ground are still there. Yep. Now, I because I forgot to do this. One, two, three, four, five. That should be good. I don't like the fact, though, it's not exactly level with the trap. But it should at least be lined up with where I need it. God damn it. Azula scared me there. I thought something jumped at me. So, I think this needs to be five high. So, let's figure it's that one. Or is that one? One, two, th three. I think that's four right there. And then let's go five. Yeah, I think... Um, I'm trying to remember there if I know how to build this trap or not. Yes, I do. And then I should have my one extra spare, which, yes. Okay, now, dun, 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 and then boom. That should do it. Um, I'm going to test fire this. up up one more I'd say that's about correct if not drop it by one did that shoot all ten no that did not that is perfect okay 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 we're good trap is set we are now just ready to spring it so is this the Sandstorm? No, it looks like it's a dust storm. Thunderstorm. Lightning storm. Electrical. That's what they're called. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I had to shoot it. <laughs> I don't have that many bullets either. Okay, I'm so lucky. Metal trap. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect. Be careful when they're throwing rocks, because there's that's a good way to miss a shot. Or it's also a good way to hit them and ruin your uh, taming effectiveness. Are you out? Oh, you're out. Okay, perfect. Carno, you need to die. Fire should not hurt him, especially if I don't hit him with it. Toasty. Okay. I guess now all we really got to do is wait for him to starve up a bit. That was surprisingly easy. And now I'm going to say it's because of the trap. And that's honestly one of the best golem traps I've ever had. It is just one that's modified from one that I used to use back in Arcs Revolved. Evolved. Now, that one was based off of gates, though. This one worked just perfectly. It worked perfectly. Like, he didn't even, like, he walked right into it like he belonged there. You know? It was, I couldn't have asked for a better, uh, a better way for this to have gone. Like, he made it so easy. And you know what? I can also reclaim all this stuff. And you know what? We can also reuse the trap for the next one. I don't, uh, he, well, did you damn it? Oh, goddamn. What happened there? Yeah, he did damage it. 
What is going on here? Why am I getting... Oh, it's the electrical store. Tech stuff is getting zapped. Alrighty, I think I've let the rock golem starve up enough. I'm going to give it some of the exceptional kibble I brought on. Extraordinary, sorry. Extraordinary kibble. One piece just did 14%. Okay, how many do you, are you going to eat here? That effectiveness. Oh, that effectiveness. Oh, you did it. All right, I think I did let you stop down enough. Sorry, also, I keep on talking her today. I'm sorry. I don't know what's with me today. Now, you a seven pieces or eight pieces? Something like that. Okay. Okay. Oh, you turned out actually pretty good. So, technically, I do have breedable rock golems available. So, I can breed them. But technically, I don't... I could try and go for better health. That's all I need to go for on a rock golem is better health. I think that's possible. Because I don't... I honestly do not care about stamina on a rock golem. To be honest. It's pointless. Now, rock golem buddy. I am going to leave you here. While I fly aimlessly through the... Oh damn, I can't see a thing. While I fly what to appears to be towards the base. I no longer need to use the map to navigate. It was just quite literally that mountain. Look, look it's just right there is the storm. It's going to follow me though. Also, one more thing here before I quickly run off to go get my uh, rock elemental here. You, we finally got some names here for the Thorax Spider and for our Phoenixes. So as you can see here, we got the name for the Thorax Spider is Emerald. Now somebody recommended that just for the green pattern on their back. And I thought, well, that's awesome. May as well do it. Now we also did have one other name for this Phoenix here, which was Amethyst. I decided, uh, let's, let's not do two rocks. Um, so I went with the other name that somebody commented. Stella, which is Latin for star, and I figured that would be perfect. So, I guess we're going to be using Stella here to quickly run back and go get our rock elemental. Now, she is pretty quick as well. I don't know how quick she is compared to Azula. I mean, she does got the jet mode, which we are currently activated. We're just going to kind of just sit back, chillax, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how long it takes for us to get there. I feel like they're about the same speed, you know? I feel like it's about the same speed, but I can't be 100%. We can also, let's aim for going under the clouds this time instead of flying directly through them. It's just horrible. She might be faster. Stella might actually be faster. Oh my. I might have lied to you guys at the beginning of this video on who's faster. Because we're even taking a detour now. Actually, I think we even went this way. We, oh my, she is faster. No, because we even went this route with uh, Azula. I am pretty sure Stella is faster. And that is using the jet mode. Which we are tearing through our uh, stamina, of course. But she's faster. Stella is absolutely 100%, no doubt in my mind, faster than Azula. Like, I'm not joking. There's no doubt. I have no doubt that she's faster. You are absolutely the fastest. Thank you. Also, we need to start picking up some metal pillars here. Oop, got me. This is just so that way we can start collecting and hopefully rebuild the trap once more in a different location. And, of course, we are going to have several pieces that do break because he was smashing them. Thank you, my man. Now, get you cryoed up, and that should probably be it for this episode. So if you guys at any point have found yourself liking this video, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And as well, remember to hit that notification bell so that way you guys get notified upon when I post. Also, uh, yeah, that should be it. <laughs> Anyways, it's been Gun Mori, signing off. Peace.